What's happening YouTube, it's your boy Tech Tricks back with another video and today we're looking at the Wi-Fi switch and how to install it. Here we go. Today's sponsor. With Bonus VPN, you'll be able to change your region on your Netflix and watch all the shows you want. Check out the link down in the description below. And here we go. So this is from Gosuna, smart wall light switch. Pretty much, um, once you install this, you'll be able to just flip your uh, switch from your phone. This is a Wi-Fi switch connected to your phone. And this is compatible with uh, Alexa, uh, Google Assistant as well. So let's go ahead and unbox this. And I'm going to show you guys how to install it as well later on. This switch needs a neutral as well. So if you are looking at your wall uh, switch and you have no idea if there's a neutral or not make sure to check it first before you buy this or else you won't be able to work so let's go ahead and open this up some literature and how to install it there's some stickers as well to label your wires those things uh, we might not need or maybe you'll need but for me i might not need that i'm a professional electrician so i don't use any of that and i uh, just I'm just able to get away with just um, remembering which wires are coming in. I also know how the wiring goes when it comes inside the box. Um, so it's easier for me to identify. Let's go ahead and um, look, take a look at some of these uh, pieces that they give us and like the marettes, screws, some stickers, like I said earlier. The wiring is pretty easy. So green is for uh, ground, uh, black for power, red for the, for the light slash uh, switch leg, and the white is for the neutral. So it says here, risk of electric shock, follow instruction, Installation instruction, uh, always ensure power is turned off before touching electrical wires. So again, don't don't uh, install this or opening open any switch slash boxes without turning off your power. Make sure that everything is turned off before you install this. So now let's go ahead and install it. The first thing you need to do is to identify which circuit turns off this uh, particular switch that you, we are working on as uh, in my case this is the kitchen uh, switch so I just went ahead and turned that off now let's go ahead and take off the cover once you take off the cover go ahead and verify if it's live or not by using a text tick tester or electrical tester once you verify you can go ahead and take off the switch from the wall the next step is to identify which is which wire uh, goes to where. So once you have identified that um, in this step, you might have to take off the other switch. If you're working with the two gang switch, just like what I have here. In this case, I had to take off both switches so that I'll have more room to install my, my brand new Wi-Fi switch. Once you've identified which wires goes to where, go ahead and attach them to your brand new Wi-Fi switch. Pro tip when you're uh, splicing wires and connecting, reconnecting wires from uh, an old uh, switch to a new one or receptacle to a new one. Um, when you're taking it off, you need to take off the power first, the black uh, colored wire first, and then follows the uh, switch leg or the neutral. And then the last thing you take off is the ground. For doing this, uh, it helps you to be grounded the whole time you are uh, disconnecting the wires from the switch. When you're putting it back is the other way, a uh, reversed way. So the first thing you put on is the ground and then the neutral and then the switch leg or neutral depends on which one you're installing. And then the last thing you need to put on or install is the black which is the uh, power once you're done reconnecting all the wires you're gonna go ahead and uh, cram all the wires back there making sure that nothing is getting pinched 
or uh, nothing is getting crushed. Another pro tip is uh, don't tighten your uh, switches or your devices completely. Make sure that you will be able to move it uh, around. In this case, you'll be able to size up the cover and make sure that it fits. Once you know that it fits, then you'll be able to just tighten it all up and your cover will be able to be put on once it's all installed. Before you finish up uh, installing the cover on, make sure that the Wi-Fi switch can connect to the app. So this will save you a lot of time when the switch uh, might not work. Maybe it's broken and it's not connecting. In this case, you'll be able to just simply take off one screw instead of uh, redoing the whole thing. The app we're using today is Smart Life. I'll link that down in the description below. But pretty easy install, uh, pretty much just follow along the instructions in the app and you'll be able to just uh, install that, uh, connect that to Alexa and also Google Assistant. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial on how to install and how to connect um, a brand new Wi-Fi switch to your home to replace all the switches in your house. Well, I hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful. Peace.